Welcome to this Liga Tech video. In the video, I will show you how easy it is to use the Microsoft Remote Desktop protocol with the Remote Desktop Server and the Remote Desktop Gateway. The case is that with Remote Desktop, there's a built-in security function for using smart cards. Today, I will just present to you a way to make your Remote Desktop access secure using the technology named of smart cards. You would also know normally that remote desktop servers are protected with typical radius and two-factor authentication with an OTP or with an app similar. What we're going to show you today is that you can do exactly the same with the default built-in tools from Microsoft. It's been there for, for, for decades and you can use it right away using our, either our product of Global ID or our product of Local ID. Before I go into the presentation, I just want to show you that we are working with, with smart cards. And right here on our, our small GoPro camera, you can see the, the card I have just here, Liga, Liga Demo user. The, the beauty here is the asymmetric key encryption that goes on between the, the chip and the operating system. There are multiple other videos that we have on Liga.com slash video, and you can see these uh, video where I explain how the technology works and also much more about smart cards and, and the process that we do with either global ID or local ID. So let's jump into it. What I prepared here for you is that on my one side here, I have my administrative PC where I can access my remote desktop gateway server and I can configure the server. And here on my other side, I have a standard PC with a smart card reader and this is my client machine. So I will just begin here from my standard administrative PC and you can see I have uh, a link for my remote desktop gateway and I immediately jump into that. In the remote desktop gateway I will just search and find the remote desktop gateway manager. This is where you put up all your server farms. I will not work, uh, go into this detail but I will just show you that we in the connection authentication uh, authorization sorry policies there is one simple um, check mark. So if you remove the password and only allow smart card, then your remote desktop gateway is secured and allowing only connecting with smart cards. That was more or less what you need to do on your backend to secure your remote desktop gateway. So I will leave the administrative part and I will move to the client part where the user normally would work. So just go here put in the card for the user and you will see immediately the user is using a smart card to authenticate to Windows. This is also a native function of Windows. Immediately I'm authenticated uh, to my desktop session. I have made two shortcuts for the RDP, a regular, I would call that classic directly to RDP, just using a remote desktop. You see also I'm prompted for using a smart card and I can authenticate uh, to Windows doing this and to the remote desktop. This is a directly connection without the remote desktop gateway. Uh, obviously, I will show you in a second how it works via the remote desktop gateway. I would just like to show you also that every, uh, using smart cards for your uh, standard Windows remote desktop is also working out of the box. So I'm just signing out here again. I will go into my uh, configuration here, my small config file for the gateway settings. I will show you here that I'm using the RDE gateway server settings, which is another server than the RDP, obviously. I'm using smart card. I've chosen that smart card or Windows Hilo for business. This is how Microsoft actually also sees this. And I've checked the check mark here for use RDE gateway credential for my remote desktop, for my remote computer. So connecting here, you see immediately I'm prompted for entering my PIN code and smart card credentials. And this is how it works. It's straight out of the box. So keep in mind, you know, whatever windows you have, it could be consultants, external, internal, and your server farms of, of privileged access. You can protect all this system by default enabling smart card access and using that for your for, you, for these systems with no problem. It's, it's built into Microsoft. So you see, I'm already authenticated again to the same machine. I will disconnect, sign out, 
And with all of that, I just want to say to you, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to see you back at another time. Keep in mind, in the links, you will have a directly links to all our video collection. And feel free to reach out to us to talk about how you can protect your environment with smart cards. And that's what we do with the Liga Local ID or with our Global ID products. We can protect that easily out of the box with a lot of default Microsoft functionality. Thank you.